Good morning, modern steaders. Burr. Hey, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <sighs> Where'd they come from? I just heard something flying in the air sound like a turkey. Crazy ducks. It's windy and 38 degrees out this morning. It is chilly. And they're calling for snow this week and next. Man, I think winter's gonna be here before we know it, whether we want it or not. I'm wondering if we got anything in the trap this morning. The other day we caught a skunk in our have a heart trap. A couple of days before that we had skunks in our chicken coop. Oh, guys. And it's not the same one. Uh, Pluto, don't go near it. Uh, well, it's not the same skunk. I know that. I can't show everything on YouTube. We'll put it that way. I took care of the, whew, I took care of the other skunk. I let him go, let him run across the river. Then I took care of him. So that's why I know this skunk isn't the same skunk. Hey, mister. You got another one, huh? You hear that? I don't know if there's something wrong with that goat. Nope. Oh, Buttercup had her head stuck in the fence the other day. So I didn't know that's Blossom. I didn't know if <laughs> she was hurt, her screaming like that. But no, she's standing up on Goat Mountain, just plattin' away. Nothing wrong with her. Figaro. You ever woken up and just had one of those days? My day started like that since 4.30 this morning. But I've told myself, and I keep telling myself, we're not gonna let it go that way. We can decide if we're gonna have a crappy day or not. Whether we have a crap hand dealt to us that day or not, it's all our mindset. No matter what happens today, it's gonna be a good day. Whether we caught a skunk, whether the animals are being crazy or not, it's gonna be a good day. Good morning, guys. Wrong bucket. Good morning, Moose. What are you up to, mister, huh? That skunk's gonna have to hang out in that trap for a little while. Today, my goal is to get the greenhouse set up with fresh bedding, and we can get the mama chickens and the chicks in the greenhouse. We'll let them get situated in there for a few weeks, maybe a month, and then we'll bring New York City. There's holes everywhere in this field. We'll bring New York City over there when it starts snowing out hard. And that way, the chicks have already established that greenhouse as their house, and they'll have more control over it. Come on, pig. It's a weird day today, weather-wise, and how all the animals are acting. Blossom, you're just obnoxious this morning, huh? What's the matter? You're crazy. Yeah, you. You would think somebody was killing her or something, I don't know. She's the drama queen out of the bunch. Oh, you girls gonna wake up? Huh? Good morning. Your feed is in your feed dish. You better get over there. The chickens are eating it. Yeah, you're sleeping in. You better go get your feed. Come on, let's go. I do have a windscreen on the microphone, but it's very windy out today. So if we're picking up any wind noise, I apologize. 
There you go. I'm telling you, there's something in the air today. All these animals are acting strange. I had to put my winter hat on. That wind is some fierce. It goes right through you, chills you to the bone. See, now that Blossom knows I'm in here with her food, she's quiet. I think she likes her food a little bit too much, don't you there, Blossom? I'm a little behind schedule feeding them. I think that's why she's making all the noise. She's like, hey, where's my chaff hay? Right? Right? I know, but you're... You eat plenty, you're not starving, trust me. Come on. The way they eat their food and the way they want their food, you would think they never got fed. Trust me, they eat plenty. I'm thinking it has to do with them knowing winter's coming, so they want to plump up, but they're plenty plump. I'm a firm believer in when you're having a bad day, if you let it get you down, it's only going to get worse. If you try to turn it around, it might get a little worse and it's going to like bite you for a little bit. But trust me, it gets better. I think it comes down to having that warrior mindset and not giving up. Because here's the thing, you can't let it ruin your mood and let it ruin your day. Then it just puts off your day, sometimes your week. If your family members are around, it puts them in a bad mood. And then they put their friends in a bad mood or their co-workers in a bad mood. And it spreads like wildfire. You eat that already? Yeah. You plenty of food. Why are you girls so hungry all of a sudden, huh? You can get mad all you want, but guess what? I'm going to finish milking you. It's one of them days, guys. I honestly don't know what got into those goats. They didn't even finish their chaff hay. And then they've eaten all their dry hay, which they've been eating a flake a day. They've had plenty of feed. I don't know what's up with them today. I think there's just something in the air with all the animals. <laughs> The goats want some apples. I really do think they know winter is coming and they're acting like they would in nature. And they're trying to plump themselves up like chipmunks or anything else. They know those apples and everything else on the ground is only going to be here for a little while longer. And they want to make sure they get them. I think it's their natural instincts kicking in. So I want to layer in here hay and straw for the first layer and then later on throughout the winter or fall I'll be adding straw hay and wood shavings and hopefully by alternating the different bedding the chickens will keep it scratched up aerated and it won't get as matted and if it does we'll come in here springtime now that I know it's easy to clean up with the Kubota and we'll get it cleaned up now, if I lived in an area where I could get different bedding mediums easy, like say maybe nut hulls like walnuts and stuff like that, I'd use that for bedding. But where we are, there's nothing like that. So that's why we're using what we're using. I'd use more straw, but straw is very expensive in our area. We don't have big farms up here. So the straw that we get gets trucked in. And a lot of it comes in from Canada.
pair. That'll be a good start for the chicks. So on my greenhouse coop, I got two layers of wire. I got chicken wire, and then I have more of a garden fence. I think they're two inch by four inch squares. They come down and they wrap down. They come out about a foot all the way around the coop. Even over here, the grass is grown up in it so you can't see it. But this way, if an animal comes in, say a skunk, and they try to dig, they're gonna be up close to the chicken coop trying to dig, and that way they hit the wire and they can't get in. And the nice thing about it is even if you use chicken wire, it's not that strong, but it'll usually keep the critters out for one day anyways. And that way you come out, you go, hey, something tried getting in my coop. You go get a have a heart trap, you put a trap out and you catch it. The first time we had that happen, we caught it and it was a possum. And we did the same thing that we're doing with the skunk. I get the newest chick and this broody hen out first. I'm gonna go for the broody hen first. She's very mean, but she's a great mother. Anytime I go near her or her chicks, I'm afraid I'm gonna get like my eye pecked out. So, so I wanna get her out of the $30 chicken tractor and into one of these uh, cages. And then we'll be able to get the chicks and the other ones. It'll be a lot easier. I'm more scared of this hen than I am a skunk. That's it. Oh, they look like they're in chick jail. <laughs> oh no! You want to get out? In a few minutes. I almost forgot to put our little chick cradle in the chicken coop. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We built this last year so the chicks can get in, but the big chickens can't. So that way once we bring all the chickens from New York City over, the chicks can hide from them.
Yes, yes. There you go, we got them all. There, they all seem happy. <sighs> so here's my dilemma. I got 45 more minutes before I gotta leave to go to a meeting. Do I risk getting sprayed by a skunk before I go and going to a meeting stinky? Ah, let's go for it. I hope I don't get sprayed. I didn't explain it last time, but what I do is I trap them, I let them, I bring them to a place over by our brook, I let them loose, I let them run off, and then we dispatch them. That way I don't have a stinky skunk near my house, or I don't have to worry about them coming back and going under the chicken coop or anywhere else. It's illegal to rehome or relocate an animal in our state that you've trapped, or a nuisance animal. Somehow he got all that rope in there with him. I don't like this part. You never know. They're gonna turn and run. They're gonna want to stay. Oh, they're gonna want to stay. My rope's not as long as it used to be. What's well, three skunks down so far? I'll have to reset that trap later this afternoon. See if we catch another one. Makes me wonder how many critters are around that I don't see at night. <sighs> the best part is, I get to go to the meeting without smelling like a skunk. That's a good thing. Olivia's been reading the book Hatchet at school and she really likes it and they just finished it today, huh? Mm -hmm. How was flute practice today? Good. Good. Guess what we caught this morning? Did a you? Skunk. Yeah, did you see it in the trap when you drove by on the school bus? No. No, you didn't look? No. There was another skunk, but not no more. So that's three down. We'll put the trap back out and see if we get any more. Did it spray? Nope, no spraying. What are you doing there, sausage? Lynx. Big roll! Big roll! Big roll! 
Everybody's coming out to play. What? In between the corners. <laughs> Run! Come on, chickens! <laughs> Any skunks? No, I hope not. <gasps> now I don't want to cook the eggs because there's a skunk. And it was last Tuesday that there was a skunk. There's two skunks. Oh my goodness. Last Tuesday. And it's Tuesday. And we've caught three of them so far. Yep. Or we've dispatched three of them so far. Wonder how many more we can catch. I hope we can catch all of them. I hope that we can. I hope that was all of them. <sighs> all right, let's try this again. Peanut butter, bread, and egg have seemed to be working really well. So that's what we're gonna use again. It's one of those things, I don't want to catch a skunk, but if there's a skunk in the area, I want to catch it. Oh, I can't win.